another red day, <laughs> especially with the markets having one of a, a heck of a green day today. But you know what? It doesn't surprise me anymore because with AMC, nothing tends to be normal. Nothing is normal, but it's fine. It's fine because I think hedges are making one of the biggest mistakes possible into this play. And I'm talking about trying to drag this as long as they possibly can, thinking that it will emotionally fatigue the apes community. Now, they had the ability to get out of this play back at $5 a share, but they didn't. And because they didn't, because they wanted more, well, if they let it rip two, three months ago, and it went to maybe 150, 200, 300, I think we would have more, we would have had more paper hands back then than now because we weren't as matured, as evolved as investors as we are now. Guys, think about it for a second. We went from 20 to five. We spent two, two and a half months between five and eight before ripping all the way up to 62, high 70s on the pre-market session. So throughout the entire process, and now we're back to 40s, we had time to really digest all the information, to really suck in all the due diligence, all the research. And now I think more, the majority of the apes are more convinced into the real potential of AMC reaching a certain number. I mean, I'm not talking about the 100,000 or the 500,000, even though it's technically possible that it can reach that numbers. I'm talking about triple digits, four digits, maybe five digits. Because if we didn't sell at 72, if we didn't sell at 60, if we didn't sell at 30 and five, <laughs> what makes the hedges think that now we are ready to sell at 40? No, because people, more people than you think, Definitely, this is what I believe. More people than you think, even though there is kind of a tiredness and a fatigue on, you know, holding, I think people know the real value of this being a real once in a lifetime changing kind of money. And because of that, they are willing to hold on to this as far, as long as they possibly can. Okay. Not only because they had the chance to really get into something that will be a life changing maybe for the entire generation, but also guys, the numbers don't lie. I mean, I can say, sit here and tell you whatever I want, but when you look at the numbers, and that's exactly the research we've been going on and seeing and digging into so far, I mean, the numbers don't lie, okay? Think two for the matter is they haven't, nothing has changed when it comes to the driver, the main driver of this thing. They are still not covering. In, <laughs> instead, they're doubling down. But when it dips, we keep buying, okay? And with all the rules and all the catalysts and all the, I mean, the fact that institutions, you know, are still also holding into this, maybe we'll have, you know, as we get into the Q2, the new filings, we'll see who sold from the institutions, from the banks, you know, who added. And definitely at this moment, I don't think they sold because they also know something big is coming. So who, who doesn't love making money? Even the suits, even more of the suits, all right? So because of that, I think we need to give more credit to the Ips community, even with this ranging before 40, you know, 40, 50, 50, 60, because that makes us more dangerous, even more dangerous than the hedges thing we can be. And that is the biggest mistake I think they're making by thinking they can trick us into selling way cheaper than the actual value of these 